Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, Adobe updated Lightroom Classic to version 9.4. In this latest version of Lightroom Classic, there's a new feature in the local adjustment tool. Specifically, it's this hue adjustment. Now, when this new version of Lightroom Classic came out, I did a video and I demonstrated how to use the hue adjustment using the adjustment brush. But this hue adjustment is also in the radial filter and the graduated filter. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could use this hue adjustment in those other local adjustments as well. Now I'm going to rehash a little bit. I'll go to the brush tool. And again, if you want to change the color of anything with the brush tool, for instance, I want to change the color of her eye, let's say. I could get a brush and I could paint on her, on her eye. Now, for this, I have exposure all the way down, and the only reason I have it all the way down is so I could see where I'm painting. And you can see I'm not doing a very good job, but that's good enough. So I just use that to guide me to paint on her iris. Now I'm going to reset exposure, and you could see it's back to normal, but that brush is still there. Now I could come in with the hue adjustment, and I could change the color of her eye very easily. Now I already demonstrated that as I mentioned, so I'll reset that because I liked her eyes the way they are. And I'll go to this next image. Now for this image, let's just say I, I there's just too much red. Let's just say, you know, her hair and all those flowers. And I just want to put more focus on her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the radial filter. And again, I have exposure all the way down and that's just to guide me, to help me put down the radial filter exactly where I want it. So I'll draw a radial filter and I'm going to move it down and up and out. So it's not touching her dress at all, let's say. All right, just like that. Maybe I could bring it down just a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. About like that. All right, so that's good. So I'm going to reset exposure again. Now I could come in and I could change the color of those flowers kind of looks a little psychedelic. Now this is probably something I really probably wouldn't do in real life, but it's affecting everything outside on the outside of the radial filter because I did not click on invert and that's the way I want it. But let's just say I only want to affect the flowers and not all the leaves or the grass that are out there either. So what I could do is I could go to the range map, ask, click on color, get the eyedropper tool, and then click on one of those red flowers that are in the periphery there. And now it will mainly only affect those flowers. And let's just say I just want to try to get a tone. It's going to be difficult, but something similar to her dress. And I really probably can't dial that in. But that would be kind of cool if I could dial those flowers into the same tone as her dress. Then we could have red matching her hair in the inside and then those flowers on the outside matching her dress. But obviously I'm not capable of that at this time. I could move some of the other sliders as well. I don't have to just um, be limited to the hue slider. Of course, I could come in, bring exposure up, bring exposure down, uh, whatever I think I could bring saturation up, down, whatever I think I need, try to get those flowers to match. But you could see then how you could use a radial filter to kind of put more focus on your subject. Again, I probably don't really like this one, uh, this specific example I just did. But you get the idea. I'm going to reset it though. Now we'll go to another one. We're going to use a graduated filter on this. Now you may be wondering why would I use a graduated filter on this? Because typically you would take a graduated filter. Oops, I'm still in the radial tool. Let's get to the graduated filter. There we go. You put it right on like something like that, right? Well, we don't want to do that. I want to change the color of the background. And I've taught this before. If you want to affect every single pixel in the image, you could use a radial filter and just put the filter off the image, like off to the right here. Click and just drag out. And you can see how it's affecting every single pixel. Now I'll reset exposure, and I'll come in with this hue control, and you can see it's affecting every single pixel, right? But that's okay. Again, we'll get the range mask, we'll get the color, we'll click on this eyedropper, and I'll click on the background. Now the background isn't evenly lit, so I could add to this selection by holding in the shift key. You can see when I hold in the shift key, the eyedropper gets a little plus sign next to it. So I could click over there. So I could click through and add to it. Now I'm not going to spend the time doing it. 
uh, all the way around, but you get the idea, I think. And then I could come in and change the color of the background. Now there's before and there's after. So it isn't very difficult to do and that should come in really handy. Now, I just want to talk about some limitations of this hue adjustment. To change the color of something, it really has to have color in it to begin with. For example, um, I have an image right here and the background really doesn't have much color in it at all. And let's say I want to do the same thing to this. I want to change the color. Let's say in my mind, I wanted to make these bricks red. All right. So I could come over here and do the same thing with that um, graduated filter. So it's affecting every single pixel. But you'll see when I come in and start to try to change things, it's barely doing anything to that background. And I could put it on red all day. I could turn um, saturation up. It's, it's not going to do much because there's really no color in that background. Of course, it's affecting them. I could come in and get the color uh, a range mask and click on it so it doesn't affect them. But you could see that it's not really doing what I want it to do. Now, it's changing some of the, the parts of the bricks that have a little color in it because it's not absolutely white. There is a little bit of color in those bricks, a little bit of shading in those bricks. So it is affecting it slightly, but it's not effective the way I want it to be. So uh, to use this hue um, tool that are that is in these local adjustments, the uh, object that you want to change the color of has to have color in it already, uh, like I did you know prior to this uh, to this image here. The background had a lot of color in it, so it worked on that. Um, those flowers have a lot of color, so it worked on that. And of course, her eyes are super colorful, so it worked on that. So there's some tips on how to use the hue control. I'm having a trouble saying that. How to use the hue control that is in the local adjustment tools of Lightroom Classic version 9.4 on up, I might as well say, because I'm sure someday Adobe will release, will release a new version of Lightroom and it will be included in that. So thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.